Here's another curated recipe from Mon Dessert, Swiss chocolate fondant. This one serves four people and it takes around 30 to 40 minutes to make. I would say this is an advanced yet achievable dessert. It is quite tricky to get that inside lava-like consistency, but once perfected, it is just so impressive, especially at dinner parties. So let's get started. First of all, you want to make your melting middle ganache center. Pour 50 ml of milk into a medium microwavable bowl. Open up the sachet of chocolate drops and add to the 50 ml milk. Microwave for 50 second bursts, approximately three times, stirring in between until all the chocolate has only just melted and you have a smooth, glossy finish. Only heat until the chocolate has just melted. Divide the ganache four ways and pour into the four moulds. Set your timer for around 15 minutes and put them in the freezer. Now you want to get on and make your fondants. Preheat your oven to 180 degrees fan. Empty the sponge mix into a large bowl and ensure you get rid of any obvious lumps. Reserve around two teaspoons of the mix and put aside in a mini bowl. For a non-vegan fondant, whisk one large egg and 100 ml of dairy milk together in a jug. Pour into the mix. Whisk until combined and smooth. For a vegan plant-based mix, you want to add 160 ml of plant milk and whisk until just combined and smooth. When your 15 minute timer is up, take out the moulds containing the ganache from the freezer. It should be solid now. Consistency of a soft scoop ice cream. If it's too runny still, you'll need to wait another 10 minutes or until the the ganache is really hard. Scoop out the ganache with a tablespoon from one of the moulds and lay on a plate. Repeat with three more spoons. Place the plate back in the freezer whilst you get on with the next bit. Take your Darielle moulds and clean and grease the moulds with a paper towel and a little bit of oil. Then spoon half a teaspoon of the powdered sponge mix that you reserved into each mould and coat with the powder, removing the excess. This just prevents sticking and gives a nice dusty finishing to the fondants. Pour in the batter to just over half halfway up the moulds, then take the ganache out of the freezer. Have two teaspoons at the ready, then create a well in the centre of the batter and place the very heaped teaspoon full of ganache in the middle. Do not push down too much, you want the ganache to rest nicely in the middle. Let the batter engulf the solid ganache so you can see the batter on top. The level should be around two thirds of the way up the mould now. Place the fondants on a baking tray in the middle of the preheated oven for 12 minutes. After the 12 minutes are up, take them out and insert a skewer or a fork around the edge rather than the centre to see if it comes out cleanly. If not, place them back in the oven for another 2 minutes. Leave them to settle for 30 seconds. Gently release the fondants by inserting a slim knife around the sides carefully not to ruin the edges. Place a pretty plate on top and inverse and tap and gently ease out the fondants. Now the moment of truth. Take a spoon and indulge into a gooey chocolate melted center. Serve with fresh raspberries, cream or ice cream to cut the richness of the dark grown up chocolate. One top tip. Even if the center is not 100% melted, the results will still be delicious. It it is a skill to get the timings exactly right for this recipe. And once you practice it a few times with knowing your oven, you'll be getting perfect results every time. Enjoy!